Let's talk about the child who is overcome by emotions at times. Usually it's anxiety or fear or anger. And those children feel just overwhelmed. And so they're, they're paralyzed by their emotion. I'm Dr. Scott Taransky. I've written the book, Equipping Your Child to Self-Regulate Emotions. And you can find it at biblicalparenting.org. Now, when a child is uh, overcome by emotions, we call it a stronghold. It has to do with the way they think, the way their uh, triggers are approached in their lives. And what we want to do is help them with that. And so I want to tell you what we do, because you can do this as a parent. We believe parents are the best counselors for their children if they have a good plan. So think in terms of, of creating for a child strategic, intentional, controlled, stress-producing situations so that a child can... Uh, address their emotional responses to certain triggers that they have. They're strategic in the sense that we're trying to apply a bunch of ideas together to bring them from where they are to where they need to be. They're intentional because we're being very careful about how we're applying them. They're controlled because we're not just giving children things that are outside of their uh, ability to deal with, and they're stress-producing. We're putting children into the stress by with the triggers that they need so they can practice their plan. And that's what we talk about with the child. We're going to give them a plan and we're going to work on a plan. Then we're going to help coach them through handling this. See, many parents are afraid of their children's emotions. And by being afraid of them, they try to cater to their child or they try to, to be so uh, careful to avoid stress-producing situations that children aren't given the opportunity to work on them. So uh, if a child is afraid of water, we don't throw them into the water. What we do is say, let's get and we'll play close to the water. And then we say, let's put our feet in the water and let's blow bubbles in the water. Uh, so what we're doing is moving a child closer and closer to be able to deal with their fears in regards to water. When children get upset, uh, when you say no to them, uh, that problem is because they've got this trigger. They don't like things that aren't going their way. And so we say to a child, we're going to practice saying no more often. And when we do, here's what you need to say. Okay, maybe next time. Or I'm disappointed, but it's okay. Or something like that. So that children are experiencing their emotion and learning how to manage it more effectively. If we put children into these kind of situations, it can help them practice in the workshop of their art to come up with new solutions and, and they develop greater hope and greater confidence. And slowly we move a child to where they need to be instead of just catering to a child and dancing around their anxiety or the challenges that they're facing. So work on it in that level and having a specific plan can guide them toward being more healthy in regards to their own emotions.